how do I get a job in a music studio? Now, the thing is, is there are very, very, very few jobs out there. There, there. there really is. There's, you know, I'm basing this based off London. Um, I know lots and lots and lots of mixing engineers, mastering engineers, and they, they haven't got, they, they haven't got a job going to someone's studio for a job. Um, and that's because the jobs just aren't there. They, they just aren't there. Bear in mind this with, with this sort of industry is so many people want to do it. So many people want to be in this position and so many people want to do that, that there's lots of people going for these jobs. And it's not a case of, oh, there's a job interview in an ad, an advert in the local newspaper, a mastering engineer needed. It don't work like that. You know, if, if for instance, we needed a mastering engineer, you know, we, we've got hundreds of mastering engineers that we know, we would go directly to these people you know there'd be prime candidates before we even got to the point of of asking anyone else so the the jobs don't necessarily they're not necessarily there it's not like you're going to walk into a studio and go you got any jobs oh yeah yeah you could be a master engineer it it's not going to happen it doesn't work like that and if it does you you're really lucky you you need some sort of in with a studio if you're going to get a job in a studio but that's not what i'm going to talk about today because right the the jobs aren't there but the work's there people need mastering there's there's ridiculous amounts of people that need mixing they need mastering there's no reason you can't start your own studio you know the majority of people watching this will have their own studio. They might not want people to come into their studio. They might, you know, it might be run out of your bedroom. It might be a studio that's in your house or something like that. So you won't, you may not want people to come to your studio. You know, we don't want people coming to the studio because we have this online service that is fully booked nonstop. So it's, it's not, we, we don't need that 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 kind of people coming through the door because ultimately when someone's coming through the door what ends up happening is they're late sometimes um it takes 10 times longer to work with them um there's there's multiple things that you've got to do on top of um when someone's coming in with an online service you literally order comes in take the order perform the mix, send the mix back. It's a real simple process, and that's what I love about an online service. So what I'm going to say, and the answer I'm going to give to this, this, this question, is create your own. Create your own studio. Create your own business. It's, it's difficult. It's very, very difficult. And at first, you're starting from the ground up. You've got no clients. You've got no, no one. Because ultimately, it people need to trust in you you need to pick these clients up and that might mean reducing your price a bit you know going in a bit lower than any other people because you need to pick up new clients it could be multiple things but if the jobs aren't out there and you're struggling to find a studio job create a job you know there's no reason whilst you're still looking for this job you can't start a little business where it's just going to the people on your Facebook and Instagram. I have got, um, you know, I've, I've got my studio. Does anybody need audio editing? Does anybody need, you know, you don't have to go down the route of going, I'm a master engineer because there's so many people who go, I'm a master engineer and kind of start this whole, yes, yeah, so I'll do your mastering for five pound. And it's like, God, um, you know, it's, it's difficult. Um, but ultimately what I'm talking about here is is the job ain't there, right? If the job ain't there and you can't just go and get the job at a studio, think about creating the job. You know, start advertising to the people that are on your Facebook, on your Instagram, and just putting the feelers out there for, you know, vocal editing, uh, vocal tuning, anything that you're good at, someone else isn't as good at. They may need you to do it. And if you put it at a reasonable price... 
you'll get people come to you. Then you'll get a referral to the next person, the next person. It will, it will start to grow. And gradually it does grow. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's where I'm going with this question is, is this answer is going to be based around create the job that you want. If, you've got, if there's a job out there that you want, there's no reason you can't create it right it's only the only reason you want to go and work with someone else is because they have all the work they have a, a lots of work that they can give you if you can start from the ground up and gradually build a business yourself to to create a, a business that that has a service that people want and you'll gradually just pick one client up the next client up the next client up and gradually build yourself up to you know something something brilliant you know it only takes one big break it takes one big break and i mean we we went down we we were here you know we worked we worked at other studios and worked with other people and and we decided no nah, this that's not for us we want to start a business we want to do it because you know they they weren't they weren't planning on going online. They wanted to keep it as a as a walk through the door kind of business, um, a shop front and all that sort of stuff. And it was like it's not going to work. And they're 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 bust now. They're gone. They they're not they're not even a studio because I I knew that was going to happen. That's why I took my business. What was it? Ten ten years ago now. Took my business um, and made it an online business because that's that was the way the industry was looking like it was going. And thankfully, what I did was correct, and it did go that way. And now we've cemented ourselves as a, as a business that's cemented into this um, as one of the, I guess, one of the, the originals online mixing mastering studios, which is brilliant. And um, so that's what you can do. And that's what I would recommend doing because it is difficult and there's a lot more that you have to do when you create your own business. Like, you know, you go and work for someone else and you just literally turn up do your job and go home with your own business you have to drive the traffic into you you have to make sure people are coming to your website pick up new clients pick up this you know please clients once once one clients please pick the next client up and then go back to that client make sure they're still happy and then pick you know start working with them again it's it's a lot of hard work but it's worthwhile hard work and ultimately if you can't find a job working for someone else create your own job you know create your own job the majority of us like people watching this you've got your own studios there's no reason right even if your studio isn't the best sounding studio and you haven't got the best sounding speakers best speakers and all this sort of stuff and it's like oh, but i can't i can't warrant the fact that i can't warrant mixing someone's song i can't warrant mastering someone's song because my my equipment isn't isn't to the grade of of other kind of studios okay that's fine so what you do is you go well what i can do is i can produce great music i can produce really good music trust me there's there's companies out there that will pay you let's say just for just for argument's sake a couple of hundred pound they'll give you 200 pound to produce a song right that song will then be taken and put into a library right they'll put that into a library that will then go into film and tv you'll never see that see anything involved with that end of it but what you are ultimately getting is a couple of hundred quid to write a song and produce a song and it might be something quite basic that you can do in a day if you can do one of them a day and get them pushed out a couple of hundred quid you're made, making yourself a couple of hundred quid a day it's it's, it's good money it's for doing something that you love but you've got to be doing that for yourself and that there, there, there's 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 things where you can do that. I mean, you've got things like um, you got these uh, kind of hip hop backing track websites, and I mean they are the problem with them now is they're saturated as anything, so you can't really make a good living on them because they are very much saturated. Um, there are people obviously making a good living, but you can them sorts of things. You can submit your songs, and people download them, people buy your songs, uh, rappers for instance, and use them as backing tracks. You know, that's that's a business at the end of the day. That's you making money as as a business, really, there. So there's all these things to do. Offer your production services. You know, another one, right, is that people on YouTube, right, they've got a YouTube channel and they don't they don't write music 
you know, they're not they're not musicians, they don't write music, but they need a bed. They need some audio as a bed for their video. You can supply all that sort of stuff. There's so many places that you can work, but it's ultimately you set your own thing up. Obviously, if you go through someone else's studio and you can get a job in someone else's studio, right? By all means, they'll bring a lot to the table. They'll give you all the work that you need, but you'll only get a wage at the end of the day. You'll learn a lot more and you'll learn a lot more, create your own business and do anything that you want. But you have to go out and get it. You have to find these links. You have to go out and, and, and pick up the, the new clients. But believe me, you pick up one, then you pick up another one, pick up another one, it will gradually grow. And it grows like that, and it really does, unless you do something bad, unless your service isn't as good, like is 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 rubbish. Basically, you will continuously pick up clients. Um, I've watched it from the inside. I've watched I've watched how our business has grown by just supplying a very 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 good quality mixing mastering service, and it's it's grown like that. And that's the one way I would highly recommend anyone to get a job. In the music industry because it's very very competitive and if you are going for a job at a studio i can guarantee you there's a guy also going for that job who not only is better than you is more qualified than you but also knows the people who are working at the studio i can guarantee you that pretty much every time um because that's, that's just how it works you know it's like if um, it's it's like if there was a job opened up at a a, a, a big studio. You know, it, I know some of the people at these these studios. I could just wander in there with with my background. You know, it would be it would be not not it, not not by no means big headed here or anything. But if it was me versus someone someone else, it's going to be quite it's going to be quite easy for me to get a job over someone else. Um, and that's what you're up against ultimately, because I can walk into, I could walk into any of these studios and, and kind of look at their business model as such. And I could, I could say, right, th this is a really good way that you could improve. I could bring a lot to the table. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to do this, but that's what I'm saying is there is going to be someone like that. There is going to be someone that's, that's more clued up and he's going to be, better for the job and he's going to basically get the job every time and there's 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 not many of these jobs there's maybe one every now and then it's not something that comes around very often um so the one thing i would highly recommend is if you're struggling to find a job and you haven't found a job and let's say <clears throat> you've come out of uni and you're um you know you, you don't know where to go next start your own business doesn't even necessarily have to be what you would class business just start start it start you know taking some money and start just just putting yourself out there once it turns into what you would consider a business then start registering a company doing all this sort of stuff and and doing it all properly but just get get started get the ball rolling on it and trust me it will be very 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 rewarding but you are going to work 10 times harder than you would if you went to a studio and got the job in a studio but we all know that job's not necessarily going to be there this is going to be there for life as well until you mess it up which hopefully you won't so yeah that's what i would recommend